Hello and a welcome to a Marble Madness on the uh, Commodore 64. And well, uh, this well, you can see it came out 86. Uh, the the coin came out 84. And uh, well, let's get started. So I think right away you can. Uh, you can hear the music is absolute shit. Uh, it's <laughs> barely recognisable from the coin up. Uh, I think the graphics are pretty good, but uh, let down by the the scrolling, uh, it doesn't actually scroll until till the marbles uh, near the bottom of the screen, so you don't have a clue uh, what you're going into. Uh, it would be more helpful if the uh, sort of uh, push zone for the scrolling was uh, in the middle of the screen. But uh, um, but the main problem I have with, it, with this conversion is the multi-loads. Uh, I'm, I'm playing the cassette version here, and uh, what I'm going to do is just let it load in real time, like I had to do when, it, when I was a kid uh, when I had this game on cassette. Uh, and you can see that. Uh, well, I think the time I started at 60, so it took me 26 seconds to complete this level. It's going to take a lot more than that to load in the next level. Uh, yeah, the multi load is absolutely abysmal. I mean, it's it's abysmal on the Amiga, to be honest. But uh, it's on the sixty four. It's just just ruins the game totally. Uh, um, yeah, uh, I remember um, this uh, got a quite quite a, a low score in the in the Zap uh, sixty four magazine. Uh, I think got about forty percent. Uh, and uh, at the time, I thought, well, maybe that's a little bit harsh. Uh, I thought maybe it was the game is a little better than uh, than forty percent. But uh, playing it now, uh, I'm not sh so sure. I think maybe they were right. Uh, but uh, back back uh, in the day when I played this game, I thought it was okay, uh, apart from the multi load. But uh, this was normally uh, when I would do my uh, homework, uh, school homework. Uh, <laughs> Or go and make a cup of tea. Yep, still loading. Uh, I mean, you can actually load whole games, and then the time it takes to just to load uh, these levels. Uh. Yeah, one thing, uh, it does have a two-player mode, uh, although, uh, it's not great two players either, to be honest, uh, but uh, yeah, it's there, so I mean, it's certainly a function I could have left out. Uh. Yep, so yep, it's getting, getting pretty boring now. Uh, um, hopefully, if, you, if you've had any sense, uh, you probably just skip the, uh, the YouTube uh, video on a, a little bit uh, <laughs> rather than listen to me waffling. Uh, but I, I, did, I did want to just, uh, you know, if people think I'm exaggerating how bad the multi is, I just wanted to, you know, just prove it. Uh, uh, I, I haven't actually played the uh, disc version. Uh, uh, I'd imagine it's a little bit faster, but uh, probably not tons. Oh, here we go. So we're on to the second level, and again, it looks pretty close to the, uh, the coin up, but as close as you could expect to get in 64, I think. Uh, um, th one of the other things I don't like about the game, uh, this version, is the controls are really sluggish. Uh, I mean, it's difficult to convert the controls because, because it doesn't have a trackball, but... Uh, I still think they could have been a bit more responsive. Uh. Come on, oh, bugger. Yep, so if you've never played this game, uh, obviously the objective is to just get to the bottom of each level. Apart from one of the levels where it's in reverse and you have to get to the top, but uh, 
Most of the time, you're, you're, you get you go to the bottom. That control's really tricky. Right, this is a bit I can never do on a 64 anyway. It doesn't make it easy. Come on. Yes. On to the next level. This time I will speed up the loading. Yeah, just uh, turn on the old uh, warp on the emulator. This is definitely one of the advantages of using an emulator. Even with warp on it, it still takes a while, but uh, here we go, I'm off. One of the annoying things is that it, does, it also starts the level uh, right away, uh, so if you, you did go to the toilet or something, you know, start it when uh, you're know, you know, not in the room. So that is quite annoying. Yeah, the controls are quite tricky in these narrow ledges. Uh, but yeah, you can see that the scrolling, uh, this doesn't leave you much room to see what, what's... Uh, what lies ahead. Uh, uh, and as for the music, when I mean, it sounds like a two year old should just uh, randomly hammering buttons on it on a, on a keyboard, it's just, it's just terrible. Oh, I might should do that actually. Oh, it's put me at the back, that's a bit harsh. Oh, come on, I can almost make it to the next level. Yes. But you can see, you've only 20, 30 seconds spent on the level, uh, and uh, about, uh, almost, bit, uh, you know, must be at least five times longer spent waiting for it to load. Uh, oops, got the warp on there. That's what's annoying bit about the uh, it's starting without, you know, if it just press fire to start the level, it would have been fine. But I mean, all, most of the features of the, the coin up here, like these little hoovers and things like that. Uh, ah! I don't think I'm going to get by this guy. I don't know if I can go this way. Nope, some invisible barrier stuff in there. Again, the music is just uh, just going random. Yep, so a uh, better review of the game, I suppose. Uh, okay, graphics are good. Uh, more than good, I mean, they're pretty decent, actually. The uh, music is terrible, and sound effects are a bit sparse. The uh, gameplay, yeah, uh, it's not, not, not so good. Uh, um, it's nowhere near as good as the coin-op. Oh, little emulator jam here. Um, yeah, but it's, not, it's nowhere near as good as the coin up. Um, um, uh, it's a very average gameplay experience. So I'll give it five out of ten, which is a bit more than, than, than Zap gave it. But uh, I really don't think it's a good conversion. Uh, I, I know some people think it is, but it's it's not. Go and play the original, and you'll see how much more playable it is. Uh, uh, but it's not a disgrace by any means. Uh, it's it's a reasonable stab, it just could have been better I think. Uh, yeah, but, uh, so 5 out of 10, uh, see you in the next video.